To enjoy this and other great episodes on Patreon, check out the link in the description and subscribe via the Black Kluge tier for full access to over 100 exclusive episodes. For those of you who would like some QF swag on TeePublic t-shirts, magnets, mugs, what have you, also click on the link in the description. <laughs> yeah, we spent um, a good portion of the day yesterday trying to figure out how I'm going to go to my daughter's wedding. And she's having like 200 people and how we're going to COVID test everyone. So uh, I got this idea where I got a whole plan, but, you know. How do you execute do, it? Yeah. Yeah. It's like I have to bring in members of the military to <laughs> get the whole thing going. <laughs> it's a I mean, like, I don't think that's a joke in the slightest. No, it's it's crazy that there would be that many people. 200 plus at a wedding for his daughter. I get they maybe, you know, OK, family and friends, but. Christ, that's a lot of people and to coordinate testing. And then what is your procedure when someone tests negative? Well, that's it. Like. They've just been around a bunch of people getting tested. So, like, I don't think his 79 brain can conceive of what could happen. And, boy, do I pray that he gets it during that wedding. Yeah. Oh, my God. And himself back now talking about it. He's already started with the Tux and Ralph and some other guy <laughs> who had to come over, a tailor, I'm guessing. And that story was sketchy about doing it in the garage, but Ralph had to use a bathroom in the house. And come on, like, yeah, he's bathroom, not. His bathroom was Wiggy's mouth. I don't mouth. believe any of that. Well, this, this is the thing. This bathroom was Wiggy's mouth. No, I think that the the the, the, the funniest thing, I think we clipped it for the, for the previous episode or the one before, where he, none, he, none, apparently none of his AGT swag suits fit it's according to right. his you know new belly and tits like he's all of a sudden he's friggin you know uh, oh, uh yeah. all of a sudden he's fat albert um but you know it, it, we we only see him from what the shoulders up if you're lucky these days mm -hmm. except for a recent video that was on twitter making the rounds in florida where a cyclist ran by him and said some pretty awful things to him and yep. uh we we're not going to play it because it's visual anyway and you really if you guys want to look at it i'm sure it's on twitter or somewhere i saw that and i i freeze framed it to look at the belly and tits and the belly is just is not anything huge trust me Nothing. it's like no. i don't know two pounds it kind of sticks out but it's like normal no it, it he it, is so <laughs> he has such body dysmorphia yeah that to him like if he doesn't have like a straight like washboard everything mm -hmm. you know and that's just age you're you're fucking almost 70 dude what do you yep. expect you're still anorexic you still have a dowager hump yep. you still have marfan you, yep. you still have bad vision hearing teeth posture all the surgery <laughs> in the world isn't going to fix that and if you want those droopy eyelids fixed your face is going to be massacred you're going to oh, have yeah. the kenny rogers syndrome like i joked about before that's that's not a that's not a, an awful question. Um, like, what? How much worse would he look at this age with his face if he got lifted? Because oh, wouldn't it be that's... wouldn't it be just too obvious? You can't fix that face. Except You're playing Russian roulette. Hat. You're playing Russian roulette right now with that face. You know, yeah, and yeah, there's no, you can only wear like so big sunglasses. But like, <laughs> it's I don't know. I I don't know. Understand why people can't just age gracefully you know, and rip on themselves and be self-deprecating and just embrace it, you know, like gray hair, baldness, whatever it is, just embrace it and be yourself. Because honestly, if he was that way, it'd be easy. I would have, he'd have a higher likability, mm -hmm. right? I wouldn't have such disdain and anger with him for being so fake and hypocritical all the time. Well, that's partially it. I and mean, the fact is he would feel like you only recently we just recorded and you guys will hear it, him talking about his grand like his granddaughter for the first mm -hmm. time. What kind of inhuman asshole goes that long and doesn't mention just not not talks about, you know, her patterns of sleep or what the parents are like or their, you know, or the baby looks like and showing pictures and stuff and they're exploiting it like the, the Baldwins are doing with every single right. one of their fucking surrogate brood. And he just doesn't even mention that he's a grandfather. Like you have to be some kind of immense asshole to be like that. 
And then when you do mention it, you say, oh, I'm busted. <laughs> you and wipe you it from the it. replay. <laughs> then you fucking delete it. You're busted, but you're going to delete it anyway. Like, we're not right. capturing that. Fuck off. Exactly. Next one is called Ralph the Football Tutor because, you know, uh, fantasy, no, fantasy, not fantasy football, but the uh, Super Bowl, like the NFL playoffs are, you know, at this point in full gear or get heading into it. And he needs Ralph to give him the full rundown. <laughs> Your show tomorrow um, on this show, Stephen A. Smith, who is a sports guy. And, you know, I don't know anything about sports. There was just a um, like a huge weekend of football yes and i watched some of it because ralph would uh, ralph does this thing he texts me about 10 minutes before the game's gonna end and he says now it's getting good why don't you go watch i don't know whatever the games were you know tampa well, versus know. buffalo or tampa miami versus Dallas. miami yeah it was it, i don't even know what i watched i watched the giants he knows only sl uh, uh, slightly less about football than he does about music. I'd say it's pretty close, but if he's not fed shit, he doesn't know shit. <laughs>